What's up, America? You know what time it is. It's 12 o'clock Eastern Standard. It's time for the most electrifying, exhilarating daytime cooking show out there with my main man, the Sultan of Smoke, the Prince of Pellets, Chef Greg. Oh, this is fantastic. It never gets old. What's that, uh, that movie, uh, A Knight's Tale? I feel like you're that guy that's just like, you <laughs> that's know. That's a great movie. Yeah, Thank up. you. I'll I mean, take that as a compliment. I like it. I don't know that actor's name, but he's in a couple different movies. He was also the uh, punter in The Replacements. That's right. Right? Uh, couple, that's right. A couple good ones, some good movies. Hey, but appreciate you guys joining us here. It is 12 o'clock. We are at Rectech World's Worldwide Headquarters. We're bringing you lunch break. That afternoon cooking show, and I, you know, we teach you how to cook something. But ultimately, we try to entertain you more than anything. Um, it's a lot of fun, so appreciate you joining us. And today, it is still May. It is barbecue month. And we're going to show you guys how to prep some pretty easy uh, competition chicken legs. I would rather prep a brisket. Pork butt ribs. <laughs> the chicken. Ugh. It's always difficult. But I'm going to show you guys some really easy ways to go about that. So if you guys want to see some really simple ways to prep your competition competition chicken legs go ahead and smash that share button drop us a comment let us know where you're at what you're cooking on and what you're making good for lunch today because we're gonna eat some delicious chicken legs yeah boy so john last night after yep. hours yep. we had that tex-mex stuffed fatty oh my gosh chef Greg. tell me you didn't wake up dude like dreaming about that I did. Barbecue fat. It, I, I dreamed about it, and then you had it rewarmed again this morning when I got to work. I was like, oh, yeah. It was good. You got to eat it for breakfast. It's just like Chinese food. It's yeah. really good day one. So good. But way better day two. I'm just saying. All right, guys, we're going to be using some super fun stuff with our partners at Atlanta BBQ Store. So they've hooked it up a little Heath Riles honey rub, a little uh, Fire Dancer chicken rub, and then we've got some Yes Deer comp sauce. Again, if you guys want to check out some really good uh, barbecue swag, check out AtlantaBBQStore.com. Use that code RECTECH10, get you 10% off, and kind of expand your horizons. Really good. If you don't got the, uh, the Heath Riles rub, the RECTECH Grills Honey Rib Rub is fantastic. But we're going to kind of use some of these just to, you know, make it a little bit different. Chef John, what you got out there, buddy? Linda Moore says she just got back from Publix. She got some leg quarters. She said, great minds think alike, Chef there Greg. You go. I mean, leg quarters is a great way to also, for all those new RECTECH owners out there, to burn in that grill. They'll cook at 400 degrees right after that hour burn in. It'll take right about 60 minutes again. You want to get those uh, leg quarters, maybe about 195, 200 degrees. But what say you, John? We get right into this. Let's do it, Chef Greg. All right, so we bought a pack of chicken legs at the grocery store today, and uh, these were the Publix Greenwise legs. Super good. I like taking those nitrile gloves. We're actually going to pull that skin back, okay? And if it's kind of stuck to the leg, just use a... Use your fingers and kind of separate a little bit. Chef Greg, what is the green wise chicken legs? Why, what does the green wise mean? So it's like a like organic, you know, better free range chicken. Um, and this is actually Springer Mountains chicken, which is good stuff. And these tendons here, see that popped? We're actually going to get rid of those. So I'm going to grab that knife and a little piece of that silver skin. We don't want to eat that. Okay, so I'm just going to take a knife and kind of trim that up. It's like Grand Central Station around here. With I know. We're that, shipping them out. And then that back side, there's that other piece of tendon. We're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and just remove that, just like that. Michael Frederick says he's doing a honey lime sriracha chicken thighs today Ooh. on the 700. Jody killed those chicken thighs the other day. Again, nice and clean. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this. I'm going to put it in my special little bucket over there. But we'll get to that bucket in a second. But just uh, repeat. we got, what, 12 more to go? Really simple. Um, this is a KCBS sort of uh, style of preparation. Um, people use chicken legs, chicken thighs. You know, as long as you cook it really good, you get a good bite through in the skin. Um, you can go through this to do it at the house. You can also lollipop these if you want. Um, but for me, I tend to cut the tendons out. Uh, it makes it easier to eat. And, um, you know, it only takes a minute or so. And you got the best grill out there. Why would you not want to spend an extra, you know, five minutes, you know, prepping something a little bit special, a little bit different, and uh, going for it. Also, I did do it on that one. I'm going to go ahead and take this end here, and I'm going to square off that bone. And that way, um, when I pull the skin back over, I've got a really nice presentation for the box. But I'm going to pull the skin back because we're actually going to brine these first. So messed up the first one because I didn't, uh, didn't trim that bone. But we're going to go ahead and brine these in something called the solution. Again, this is available at AtlantaBBQStore.com. Um, 
I'll say one of my more inconsistent categories in competition, John. Yeah. Probably chicken. Yeah. I think I got that brisket game on lock. Yeah. Brisket I got game ribs, is pork, mm -hmm. chicken. Not, not as much as a nemesis as a uh, carry chastain with hold your horses. Okay. So Carrie, if you're out there watching, I know you and Mama are taking the Q wagon out there. Carrie's one of our barbecue team members with hold your horses barbecue. He's taken a long trip from Griffin, Georgia to Warsaw, Indiana. It's like 13 hours because he is itching to do a KCBS cook. So good luck to you, Carrie, this weekend. I know you're going to crush it out there uh, cooking on the Rec Techs up in Warsaw, Indiana for that KCBS event. That's what um, I'm talking and if about. you are anywhere near Warsaw, Indiana, go ahead and reach out to Carrie and uh, send him a message and give him a good look. And again, the same thing. The end here, I'm just going to take that kind of end off. I'm not losing any meat there, just kind of bone. And that way I've got a nice even thigh. Chef or Greg, you know who does thigh. some of Leg. my favorite Leg. chicken, barbecue chicken? If you say Matt Barber, <laughs> that what you're say? I was going to say hot chalu on uh, Matt Barber. Well, because I don't know what he does to his chicken, but it is some hoodoo voodoo. <laughs> he does. Almost like Jan Berg's pimento cheese. Ooh, yes, Lord. If, I, don't, I don't know if this is a true statement, but I'm going to make it anyway. Matt Barber wins chicken more than anybody I've ever known in my entire life. Like, and he cooks by himself, which is super hard because there's a lot going on. And, yeah. uh, yeah, I Matt, have, I Matt have Barber, what is your secret to chicken? Yeah, I had the opportunity to uh, cook with him for, I guess we did Banjo BQ one year. Yep. So I got to be ago. on his team. And yeah, he is a master mind when it comes to chicken. But if you guys want to learn Matt Barber's signature chicken, he's coming to Rec Tech Academy. He'll be here this fall. I forget if it's the uh, October or September date, but he's going to be one of our guest pit masters this fall. And he's also really good at brisket, ribs, and chicken. Oh, yeah. So if your chicken game is a little light like, like mine, make sure you guys join us for Rec Tech Academy. I'm just kidding. We love chicken. It's just, <laughs> it's finicky. Like, I feel like I get, you know, my texture really good, and then sometimes I get my flavor really good. Chef Greg, what would be, uh, Jeff asked, what would be a good Asian-inspired glaze for chicken legs? Ooh, uh, I like a little rice wine vinegar, a little hoisin, and then a little bit of soy sauce and brown sugar. Uh, bring that to a quick little simmer, and then you can brush that on your chicken the last, you know, maybe 20 or so minutes, and uh, that will be insane. But yeah, hoisin's always a good one, and you can even buy like a... Um, like a bulgogi style marinade or glaze. They sell that at the grocery store as well. Um, you know, you can even do like a char siu uh, chicken. You can buy that already done, or you can do like Jody and get that red food color and make your own sort of char siu uh, Yeah, that was, you know, that was awesome. It's some Ch killer stuff. Carrie Chastain's watching, Chef Greg. Carrie Chastain, we gave you a shout out. Check out that cup he gave us too, <laughs> super nice guy. I got water in it today because, you know, it is early, but Carrie, are you doing chicken legs or chicken thighs for your uh, your event? I know you're driving, so make sure mama comments because That's you gotta right. be safe out there. Unless you stop for lunch. If you stop for lunch, then you can type it in. Chef Greg, James Allen asks, what else could you use for the brine? Uh, you can make your own with a, like a salt sugar brine. My uh, go-to brine recipe is one gallon of water, uh, half a cup of salt, and a cup of sugar. And you can adjust that as you need. You can add some herbs in there if you want. You can add some citrus, you can add some peppers. Um, really, it really depends on kind of what flavor profile you're looking for. But at the end of the day, you can kind of do, you know, whatever. So I'm going to do a couple more of these because clearly I need the practice. Chef and Greg, at every, we have 423 P out, 23 people out there right now loving what you're doing. We got 420 people, sorry, 423 people That's out right. there watching. If you want to see us wrap up these chicken legs, go ahead and smash that share button. Comment down below. We will show you how it's done. And by the end of it, it's going to look really good. I'm going to mm -hmm. trim these a little bit more. And the reason why I'm trimming those tendons out is I don't want them to pop when I cook. What I mean by pop, if you've ever overcooked a chicken leg, what happens is that tendon pops and it kind of exposes the bone by the knuckle. That's right. Uh, by trimming that, that won't happen today. Well, hopefully it will not happen. That's why we're cooking some extra because you never know. You might get that one stubborn one. Um, but it's all about consistency, so a lot of times I will weigh my chicken and pick out ones that are the same size. Right. I'll also take a look and make sure I have a you know, right leg and a left leg, see, so they look good in the box. Because again, one bone's going to curve, so I make sure I have a pair so when they go in the box, they can really hug each other and be pretty. So you really got to think about it. A lot more than just cooking the chicken. It's a lot of visual, a lot of flavor. Um, Kerry Chastain says he's doing thighs, Chef Greg. 
he is doing thighs. I saw him do a practic practice cook uh, this weekend, and if he makes something half as good as those chicken thighs, mm. he's bringing it home. Uh, uh, John wants to know, kosher salt or sea salt for the marinade? I always use kosher salt. Um, again, you want to make sure you use kosher salt. Um, I tend to weigh my um, salt as well, so I'll do a gallon of water, uh, four ounces of salt, and eight ounces of sugar. If you were to use table salt, here's a little science for you. We're going to break it down. Kosher salt, since it's more coarse, will take up less, I'm uh, sorry, more surface area than, say, uh, iodized salt, which is a finer grind. So essentially, you will oversalt your items if you do it by measurements. That's why you want to go by weight. A little science for you. That's good, Chef Greg. That is a great tip. Uh, we have another question right here. Uh, does, does a brine make uh, much of a difference over a rub? Uh, absolutely. So the brine will get in and really start to flavor that from the inside out. There's also some tenderiz tenderization uh, components to that brine that will help give us a nice clean bite into the, uh, the chicken. Um, but again, you don't have to. This is just an extra step. If you're just doing this at the house, you could very easily just, uh, you know, season and go. Nothing wrong with that. Ricky Jones asks, have you ever used pickle juice for your brine? Um, I have not in competition. Uh, for our buttermilk Rectech chicken, uh, that sort of Colonel copycat recipe, if you will, we uh, did a pickle brine there and then uh, dipped it in ranch dressing and then uh, seasoned it up and then cooked that on the RT700 like it was fried chicken and it came out Ooh. delicious. All right, so normally we would let this marinate for about an hour or two. Let me see here. All right, let's go ahead and move on. But you'll let that marinate for right about um, an hour, hour and a half, give or take. So all that was in that brine is just that solution and yeah. water, Chef Greg? So it's just a half a cup of the solution per uh, one quart of water. I actually doubled it because we had a little bit more chicken. So I did uh, one half cup to two, cu two quarts of water. That's it. Nice. So nice. Super simple. Let me grab. Now what you want to do is kind of redecorate here. I'm going to grab a towel because what I want to do is I'm going to get these chicken legs out of the brine and I want to kind of uh, get some of the extra liquid off of them. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just kind of lay them out. Tend to keep the skin up. And again, this stuff, super good flavor. It's going to make it very chickeny. You know, a lot of people will uh, brine in chicken, um, you know, stock. They will inject if they will, but we're not going to inject today. We're just going to brine. Okay, so what would be the difference between injecting and in brining, Chef Greg? All right, so injecting, I wouldn't do both. If you're going to do one or the other, you definitely don't need to do both. So if you're going to inject, I would not brine and vice versa. Injecting will be able to give you... Um, you know, flavor where you want it. So if I'm going to inject this, I'm basically going to take my uh, spit jack injector and inject a small dose into all the areas of the chicken, okay? But since we're going to brine, I'm not going to go that route, okay? Chef Greg, Buddy Dalton asks, what are your favorite uh, rib rubs for competition? I can't give out all my secrets right <laughs> now because we got to save some for Rec Tech Academy. But I do prefer to have a sort of spicy element I do prefer to have a sweet element, and I do prefer to have a umami sort of herby element to um, my rib. So for me, you know, I might do a base coat of a little bit of heifer dust, a little salt, pepper. I might put a little bit of Colden's freaking Greek Ooh, on there for some herby. Okay. And then I'll put maybe a little honey rib rub or even maybe a little apple pie rub on there. Um, but for my chicken, I'm going to go ahead and put our first layer, and this is going to be a little bit of sweet. So here you could use honey rib rub. You could use, you know, we're going to use that Heath Riles honey rub today. And again, you can pick these stuff up at uh, AtlantaBBQStore.com. Use that code RECTEC10, get 10% off. And just kind of, I am not. I don't need to go crazy with it because there's a lot of uh, flavor in that brine. But I want to put the sweet under the skin. Okay. And I got that skin pulled back. And then what we're going to do, grab another guante here. I'm glad these gloves come in packs of 100 because I'm not going to lie, I go through a good Me bit of too, them. Chef Greg. I'm going to go too. ahead and take that skin and pull it back over that chicken leg, okay? And that way it looks super nice and pretty. It really does. That is awesome. 
Chef Greg, would you use this brine for chicken thighs? You absolutely could use this for chicken thighs. You could use this for whole chickens. You could use this for half chickens. The larger the piece of meat, the longer the time you're gonna to wanna to spend in the brine. And if it's something really big like a turkey, I would even probably consider injecting at some point because you know I'm not gonna brine uh, that turkey for you know three days. And if the, the skin kind of doesn't you know wanna be cooperative, just spend a moment and kind of just give it a judge, okay? So Chef Greg, for everybody that's tuning in, what are we doing right now? Give them a rundown real quick. We are showing you guys how to prep competition chicken legs. Again, it's May. It is still barbecue month, and uh, we showed you how to do ribs and briskets, different hot and fast recipes, one hour ribs, competition ribs, good backyard ribs. Uh, fun day Friday tomorrow, we're gonna show you guys how to do pork butt. Um, but you know what? Every now and then you wanna just do something a little bit different, a little bit more special. This is a great recipe you can do at the house uh, for your friends and family. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab something called the jacquard. And this right here is okay. a mechanical tenderizer. Um, so normally there's a spring here and you kind of stab your meat. Well, I don't want to do that. So I took a zip tie, okay, and I kind of, I don't know, fastened that safety back a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke these chicken just a couple places. And that way, if I get some steam or fat underneath the skin, it's going to render out and I'm going to get better skin. So I'm just going to take that jacquard and just kind of stab it a couple times. Do not hit your fingers, okay? Do not uh, get your thumb, be bad, bad juju. <laughs> Chef, uh, Craig asks, is cutting the tops off the ch chicken just for presentation or is there another reason? Nope, just for presentation because I want to make it nice and even. Okay. And then what we're going to do is, we're going to grab a little bit of Fire Dancer. This stuff right here, Fire Dancer Barbecue, I love for the tops of chicken. It's not spicy. It's just a really good barbecue rub. I love the color it gives uh, my chicken. And we've got a little sweet underneath the skin. And this has a little bit more sort of umami, if you will, for the top. Okay. Guys, smash that share button right now. Chef Greg is taking you all through competition chicken legs. Come on. Moving on up. Yeah. All right, like so now Georgia I'm going to take these, uh, these legs, I'm going to put them in a pan here. And what I'm going to do is, is kind of arrange them so that there's a little bit of space in between. And I want to arrange them so that they kind of fit the way they're going to kind of go in yes. the, um, the box, the plate, if you will. All right, so let me. Chef Greg, Joe asks, which, in your opinion, which is better, coarse uh, ground rubs or finely grind rubs? I think they both have a, uh, a place. We'll kind of cram that one in over here. I think they both have a place. Um, if some, a rub is too coarse, you can always put it in a coffee grinder and make it a finer grind. But for me, if something is, is more delicate like chicken, I tend to prefer a little bit more of a finer grind. And that way, um, I think it kind of melts in a little bit better. And then you gotta grab that parquet. Oh, parquet. Okay, so what's so special about parquet? Why wouldn't we just grab regular butter, Chef Greg? Well, you wanna be careful using regular butter because if it melts and burns, it's gonna give your uh, chicken kind of an off color or texture. Whereas the squeeze butter being margarine uh, won't break down as much and it'll provide just enough moisture, salt, and flavor to sort of cook uh, nice and even, just like that. We want to thank all 549 what? of you guys for watching. We got 500. Yes, they are in. They are locked in, Chef Greg. They are all about these competition chicken legs. Guys, hit that share button. Help us keep bringing y'all great content every day. All right, so these chicken th uh, legs, we're going to go in the RT700 at 275 degrees. We're going to cook these for about 60 to 65 minutes. After that, we're going to wrap them up. A little bit of foil, okay? And we will let this go. I have some extra, so I put in a metal pan just for, for giggles. But we're going to let that go covered for right about 20 to 30 minutes. So again, to recap, 275 for about an hour, hour and five minutes. We're going to wrap for right about 20 to 30 minutes or so. And I didn't peek, so I don't know what these look like. Oh, All I'm, right, Chef I'm, John. I'm sure they're going to look amazing. Chef Greg, where can you go and get that meat tenderizer at? Uh, Amazon has them. 
They do a good job with that. You can pick them up. I don't know if Atlanta BDQ store has them. What um, is the name of that meat tenderizer it's again? It's a Jacquard. Jacquard. If it wasn't covered in chicken, I would absolutely uh, pull it back up. But it's J-I-C-A-R-D. It's really good for steaks and stuff, too. Um, I think they use that on the SCA competition trail to kind of tenderize their steak as well. All right, but it's almost time to get these glazed. But before I can get these glazed, if you guys are out there watching, do me a favor. Go ahead and smash that share button. Maybe you got like a yard sale group or neighborhood group. Go ahead and throw it in there. Show your friends, show your family how much you love barbecue. So I'm going to go ahead and pick these legs up. And again, the texture here is going to be really, really good. We're going to put these on this rack here so that we can glaze them a little bit. Ooh. Okay. And we're going to hit this with a little bit of that Yes Deer comp sauce. Um, again, this is a rub or a, a glaze I enjoy to use. And again, eight uh, chickens there. And these were in that metal pan. These were kind of the rejects. And you can see kind of, you know, it's ugly on the ends. We don't want that. But they're still going to eat just fine. So we'll go ahead and glaze them. That could be the, uh, the taste testers. But those were kind of the janky ones that uh Chef Greg, that those didn't things make the cut. look awesome. So what you're doing, this is exactly how you would do it at a competition, Chef Greg, right? For sure. And I would take maybe a little bit more time to, you know, trim them, make them even, make them, uh, you know, nice and tasty. But for me, this is, uh, this is essentially the process. All right. So what we're going to do is we've got to glaze them. And you could use any of your favorite barbecue sauce. I like the Yes Deer Comp Sauce. Not going to lie, I'm a huge fan of Polynesian sauce at Chick-fil-A. Okay. This is like the barbecue <laughs> sauce of Polynesian sauce, okay? And if you've had this before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's got a good balance of sweet, heat, um, good acidity to it, but I really like the color it gives our ribs. And sometimes I would go ahead and uh, heat Ooh, this up. Chef Greg. And that way it kind of glazes a little bit. You don't want to have brush strokes. So normally I'm a, I'm a dunker, but I didn't want to waste any of this sauce because normally I'll just cup, pour a couple bottles in a bucket and basically dunk. DJ Robert says, can I come taste? Uh, we have carrier pigeons. We can go ahead and, uh, <laughs> and send you some via carrier pigeon. So we're gonna go ahead and just glaze these. Man, guys, hit that, hit that heart button. Let me see some wows. Chef Greg is doing competition style chicken legs. That glaze looks delicious. But a lot of times, look at the color, look at the shine, look at the amazing flavor that we have on these chickens. So are all those attributes that the judges would be looking for in a competition, Chef Greg? Shoot, yeah. Okay. Man, that looks so good. And like I said, you want to make sure you get all the little areas of the chicken. And like I said, normally what I'll do is I'll grab a bucket and just take the chicken and go just dip it in. But I didn't do that today. Chef Greg, why didn't you heat the sauce up first? Just didn't feel like living the rectech lifestyle like that today. Okay. So it doesn't do anything to heat the sauce up first and then glaze? Now, a lot of times I like to have my meats and glaze um, warm or at least the same sort of uh, temperature. And that way, um, when I do it, it tends to not get too thick. But this sauce for me isn't a super thick sauce. So I don't mind kind of painting it on, you know, ambient or room temp. And like I said, this, uh, this bottle sat in my office for a good while. So again, it was... I don't know, 70 degrees, give or take. Gary asks, uh, do you ever hang them on a rack? Um, I don't. Um, some people do. It's not going to hurt anything. I am going to put them on this rack just because I don't want to get uh, glaze and stuff all over the, uh, the RT700. And that's just a little OCD. But it's not going to hurt anything if you, if you hang them or not. You know, there's some cool racks out there. And then they're going to go back in the grill. All right, Chris Taylor wants to know, what's the temp of the legs right now? Um, I'm looking probably about 180-ish degrees. And you know that by experience because you did not thermopin them, he said. I did not, know. They're Based on my time and that temperature, they're right around that 180 degrees. Um, and we'll let those go for, you know, between 10 and 15 minutes. And they're going to probe, you know, right about 200, you know, 198 to 201 is kind of where I like the chicken. Any more than that, it might get a little bit too done. Any less than that, you get a little resistance on the... Um, on the bone but we'll let those go for a little bit now they are done they are fine to eat right now they're they're definitely cooked um are they as tender as they are and that skin it probably needs a little bit longer just to get uh super tasty we'll let that go maybe five ten minutes pull it off we'll give it a bite and uh and go from there okay craig asked uh the chicken that we have in the um pan he said isn't that butter gonna make it mushy and soft rather than crispy 
Definitely how do you not. Combat, how do you combat that? All right, so we've packed that chicken full of smoke because we went 275 for a little over an hour. And that's gonna kind of give that chicken a, a good bit of a flavor to it. It's gonna render out some of that fat. But to really get the meat tender, that's why we wrapped it in the aluminum foil for about that 25-ish minutes or so. Um, it's not gonna give us soggy chicken. We're gonna go ahead and reglaze uh, the chicken and kind of set that glaze onto the chicken itself. And we're looking for a bite through skin. Not crispy, but well rendered and a good even bite through. Um, that is kind of the texture we're looking for with competition style chicken, is that when you bite it, whether it's a chicken uh, thigh or a leg, you've got a really even, easy bite through both the skin and the meat. Nice. Right, but Chef you can Bray. easily set that grill at 400 degrees, season those chicken legs up, put them on there. They're going to be amazing. Dunk them in sauce and go to town, and they're going to be fantastic. This is just a different way of cooking it. All right, Joe says, do you like to put sauce under... Do you like to put sauce under the smokestack or do you like to heat, do you like to heat it up to get more flavor? I guess he's asking about smoking your sauce. For sure. So a lot of times with the RT700, I could easily put my pot of sauce right on the top by the hopper lid and that's going to help heat up that sauce as well. I could put a small saucepan on the grill. Again, same thing. I didn't do that today because I was just going to pour it out of the bottle. I didn't feel like waste. This is good stuff right here. I didn't feel like wasting the whole bottle because I didn't need it all. So for me, um, I only used a quarter of it. I just poured it over the chicken, but normally I would dump them in and I could even use a, a thermal cup as well, get it hot, pour my sauce in. That way I can grab my chicken and literally just dunk it perfectly. Uh, that's usually how I do my thighs, but today we're really not competing. We're just competing for a delicious lunch today. So that's how I, I did that one. Uh, Chef Greg, what kind of pellets are you using today? Chef John? What kind of pellets do you think I'm using? Oh, I know what kind of pellets you're using. Again, we're going to use those Rectech Ultimate Blend pellets, red oak, white oak, and hickory. It'll give you uh, plenty of flavor, plenty of heat, uh, great clean smoke. Again, we're at 275. Thin, clean, blue smoke right. coming out of that grill. Um, if you see things billowing out, you got that like you know acidic, acrid, like really white gray smoke. That's not good flavor. Um, Aaron Flank Franklin said it best. You want to be able to barely see that smoke. And even at night, okay, you can kind of hold a flashlight by your smokestack and you'll see wisps of like thin blue uh, smoke. That's the smoke you want because that's the best for flavor. Chef Greg, if people want this recipe, what do they need to do? All right, if you want this recipe, among others, go ahead and join us at rectechgrills.com slash lunch break. Go ahead and put your email address in there. We'll email those out. If you want to bring your competition game to the next level, okay, you want to see all the secrets. I mean, we tease it a little bit, but if you want to see everything, okay, and how you can win brisket, ribs, chicken, and pork, go ahead and go to rectechrolls.com. Check out the Academy tab. We've got uh, three academies coming up this year for the 2020 class. The first one will be June 4th, 5th, and 6th. Again, that's going to be here at Rectech Grills Worldwide Headquarters at 4301 Evans Salox Road in beautiful Evans, Georgia. We also have a class in September and October. We will have uh, various pitmasters uh, joining us uh, for different sessions, and you will see the ins and the outs of KCPS, IBCA, MBN, GBA, and others. Chef John, what you got, buddy? Can you bring us, just real quick, can you recap time and temp and where we're at right now? 10-4. All right, so we took our chicken. We went ahead and pulled the skin back. We trimmed the tendons off of that chicken. We went ahead and brined it in the solution for about an hour and a half, okay? After that, we took it out. We drained it off. We seasoned underneath the skin with a little bit of Heath Riles Honey Rub. Again, you could use the Rectech Grills uh, Rossaruski's Honey Rib Rub. We pulled that skin back over the top. We hit it with the jacquard, so we poked a couple holes in the skin to allow that fat and uh, moisture to evacuate. And then we put a little bit of that Fire Dancer chicken rub on the top. We let that go at 275 for about 65 minutes. We wrapped that pan up with aluminum foil, let it go for another 20 to 25 minutes, maybe a half an hour, kind of depends. I didn't check it, but normally I'm looking for like the high 180s is kind of where I'm looking. And then we took them off, put them on a rack, and we glazed it with Yes Deer Comp Sauce. Uh, one of my more favorite sauces for chicken. I like it's got a little bit of an acidic punch, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of pepper, but ultimately it gives the chicken a fantastic color. That's what I love about that sauce. But Chef John, I don't know about you. I'm getting a little impatient. Yeah. 
What, what say you? We go ahead and pull this chicken off. Hey, I and, stay uh, patient. I know these people want to see that chicken. If you want to see that chicken, what I'm going to need to do, y'all to do right now, is hit that heart button. Smash that heart button. Smash that share button. So Chef Greg knows it's time to pull the chicken off. Come on, everybody. I mean, John says it best. If you guys want us to keep bringing you content like this, going live multiple times a day, you got to make sure you smash that share button, comment down below, so we can show Ray, Ron, and Ben, and all of those at RecTech Grills, that you love us, that you appreciate us, and you want to see that content. Because the more you guys support us, the more content we can bring you. But, John, I think it's time. Yes. Go ahead and pull these thighs off. We almost need like a little bit of, of theme music. Da, 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 and I keep da, saying da, thighs. Da, They're chicken da, legs. Da, 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 okay? Chicken da, 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 legs. And those are kind of the rejects. Da, da, but we can eat the rejects. So if this was a box, I'd normally put six in there. And again, since we kind of uh, separated those, you know, we put some kale on the bottom. Chef Craig. Okay. We're not getting crazy with it. This one's a little, I don't know. That looks don't amazing. That we'll, we'll flip that one around. I don't know if you guys were hungry before y'all started watching. I know y'all are hungry now. Begin with these chicken, you can easily. Um... Mm. See, some of these are different shapes. I didn't do a good job at uh, kind of getting them all Practice to Practice makes perfect, Chef Greg. Well. And it's still early in the summer. I bet, I guarantee by late summer, Chef Greg, your chicken game is going to be tight. Oh, for sure, buddy. But at the end of the day, you know, you got to bring, there you go. That'll work in a box. Nicholas so, Dalton says that's a nice color on them, Chef. Great color. Okay. So there's our competition chicken. These would be the rejects. And uh, so what we're looking for is a nice bite through the skin. So yeah, so tell them what, because you've been in these competitions before, Chef Greg, tell them what the judges are going to be like looking for. All right, so very moist, a bit of sweet, a bit of heat. I bit through that skin and the meat in one bite. We'll go off the other side. Let me flip it around. It's really good. That looks delicious, Chef Greg. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that was hot. <laughs> Don't burn your frenulum, nope. Chef Greg. Don't burn your frenulum. Okay. It's not worth it. We're going to give you a, a second on that bite, John, because you got to okay. taste this. But, ah, a little too hot right there. Oh, wow. Right in the tongue. <laughs> Whew. Man, that looks so delicious, Chef mm. Greg. They are going crazy right now on the internet for you. This but ain't again, no game. To recap, we went 275 for about an hour. Uh, we wrapped that pan up with aluminum foil, let it go for another 20, 25 minutes. I want to get right about 200 degrees, 198 to 201, somewhere in there. And you can probe kind of closer to the bone. But again, that first bite, you notice, really clean. That skin didn't pull away. Um, it's well rendered, but a nice even bite. And that's what you're looking for. The second one, I got carried away. I kind of overcommitted a little bit. <laughs> um, a little bit on the hot side. Not quite as bad as like the frenulum burn on a pizza. But I think I did burn my tongue on that one, for sure. All right, Chef John, what do you say you come in here and grab right, a, I'm coming over. a bite of chicken? I'm coming over. I got a clean towel here for you. Yes. But I think that one right there okay. has your name on it. This one? Yeah, and there's a towel for you All in right. case you need. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and put a glove on. You are such, you are wise beyond you know your saying? years. I mean, you had a birthday not long That's ago. I did. That's and the And I truth. think, you know. This is just the best way to not get sticky and eat that chicken. Oh, my gosh, Chef Greg, this looks great. There you go. And I have a little bit of a, a little bit of a good bite to it, a little bit of a spice, a little bit of sweetness. Y'all, now look. But, like, that thing is dripping with flavor. I consider myself a connoisseur of chicken. I know good chicken. And this is delicious. I give it five stars, 10 out of 10. Love it. Love it. Winner. Winner, winner, still, chicken dinner. Still champion. Winner, winner, Chef chicken dinner. Chef Greg. But again, you can do this at the house. It's kind of fun. Put a little uh, sweet underneath the skin, a little heat on the top. You get a little tickle on your tongue from everything. It's going to be really good. Country Club, what you smiling at? He's just, <laughs> he's just having a good old time. He is. But again, if you guys want to see these recipes and more, make sure you uh, sign up for all of our recipes. We do at lunchbreakrectechgrills.com slash lunchbreak. Put your email address in there. Join us for Academy. RecTech Academy Class of 2020 is going to be huge. Huge. We got classes June 4th, 5th, and 6th. That's three days of barbecue instruction. The swag bag we put together. Literally second to none. Chef Greg, could you tell them a little bit of the stuff that's going to be in the swag bag? No. 
You don't want to give them a little, a little preview, a little hint? What you got to do is go to our brisket fun day Friday from, a, from two weeks ago. Go ahead and watch that video on YouTube as well as on Facebook. There might be a little preview for some swag out there. You can see it. It's kind of took up about half of the table. <laughs> but we got about $250 worth of value in that swag bag. Yeah. Stuff you're going to use day in, day out. Not just rubs and seasonings and glazes, but practical barbecue accoutrement to make yourself better. I guarantee no one is going to come here and be disappointed in the education, the swag, and the experience. Second to none. We'll show you how to prep whole hog, MBN style with Carrie Chastain of Hold Your Horses Barbecue. We got Roddy Trevino and Sarah Starr with Rod Star Barbecue out of Texas coming here to show you some hot and fast Texas methods as well as the IBCA. You got the RecTech family, uh, Jody, myself, and Chef John showing you more of the KCBS side of things. We have live music. We're going to have food, open bar. It's going to be amazing. Chef John, what you got for me, buddy? If people want to find out about new products that are coming out, what do they need to do? Go to RecTechRills.com, scroll to the bottom of any page, okay? It'll say sign up for the newsletter. Go ahead and put your email address in there and make sure you hit um, subscribe because if you don't hit enter, nothing's going to happen there. We don't bombard you with emails. Okay, we only send them when it's important, so maybe it's an email a week or an email every other week. It kind of just depends on what we got going on. But if you guys want to know the latest and greatest of what we got going on at RecTech Grills, maybe you want some more information about that brand new RTB380 stainless bullseye behind me, you got to sign up for the newsletter. You can, you can send me DMs. I can't tell you. Yep. But if you sign up for the newsletter, yep. you can tell yourself. <sighs> That's it. I love it. So Chef John, what else you got? We got. Uh, they just want to know about Academy. If they want to find out anything else about Academy, where do they go? You can go to RecTechGrills.com and uh, hit up the Academy page. You can also email me direct at Chef Greg at RecTechGrills.com. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all of your questions about RecTech Academy. It's going to be a blast. We had a great meeting with the team uh, yesterday to talk about swag bags. We ran through uh, timing and schedules and all sorts of stuff. And I got to tell you, it is going to be jam packed with world-class barbecue education. And here's the thing, you're gonna do it. It's not like you're gonna stand there and listen to us talk or watch us cut something up. You yourself will be able to trim a brisket, inject a brisket, season a brisket, smoke the brisket, glaze the brisket, mm -hmm. slice the brisket, mm -hmm. and box the brisket. And you about. never know, we might have a couple competitions amongst everybody. It's gonna be exciting, you really don't wanna miss it. The last RecTech Academy, we had over two 130 participants that joined us at the rec tech field not awesome. but not but two miles from here but now we got a vip it up you got to join us here on the rec tech deck at the worldwide headquarters at rec tech grills we got an inside air conditioned and climate controlled classrooms monitors tvs cameras everywhere it's going to be a blast you don't want to miss it they're loving it chef greg they are loving it do you have any sneak peeks for the october academy anything you could tease them with for october let's just say some of the instructors that will be joining us for the fall academies are Food Network celebrities. What? They might or might not have been on Barbecue Pitmasters. And when I say on it, they actually won it. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> One of the instructors won uh, Barbecue Pitmasters uh, winners. So he took home $50,000. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, I actually used to work with that person uh, at a former place of employment. <laughs> so if that doesn't give you any more hints, that's pretty much about it. But we are going to bring you guys the best of the best. You know how we roll here at RecTech Grills. Grill big or go home. We that's don't it. do anything small. We don't do anything, you know, uh, what's the expression? Whammy pammy or I want to say half, mm, but I can't say that. But we don't do things for second. No, okay? we do not. Everybody else is fighting for second. We are first place, bringing you the best, from the best pellet grills right. to the best everything. And mm -hmm. RecTech Academy is going to be no different. So I guess, John, you know what? we got a couple more chicken legs to eat. We do have a couple more chicken legs. I know Country legs. Club's drooling over here. He is drooling. we got to get some work done today. That's right. Ryan's got one more question. All right, shoot me, he Ryan. He said, it's about Academy. He says, do people need to bring their own stuff for Academy? Ryan. I'm assuming he means knives, Ryan, aprons. We have thought of everything. So you're going to use the same cutlery I use day in, day out. We've got sets for all teams here. You literally bring yourself, bring a positive attitude, bring a full belly, because I guarantee you're, you're going to literally about. explode by the end of it. Um, we've thought of everything from the drive in to the drive out, nothing but VIP experience the entire time. 
But make sure you guys join us on all social media tonight at 11 o'clock on Chef John's Facebook page. That's right. It's going to be Chef John late night. Late night. He's going to show you something mm -hmm. good. Late night. And night last night we talked about maybe doing, I don't know, some dessert fatties. Yeah, I and actually he thought might, about that. He I, might dust something off and do something crazy never tonight. Never and know. Uh, if you want to see that, make sure you join Chef John on his, his Facebook page at 11 o'clock. And again, tomorrow is Fun Day Friday. Join us yeah. here on the Rectech Grills Facebook page at 12 noon. We got some giveaways going on. So if you want to win yourself an RT300, make sure you join us from last week so you guys can maybe be a winner and do what we said at the end of the show and maybe you can win yourself a grill. We're going to spin that wheel of Rectech. You know we are. It's Fun Day Friday. That's right. And then next week is Academy Week. So we're going to have Chef John do Backyard and Beyond on Monday. Uh, we'll do late or after hours every Wednesday. And of course, you know we got to bring you the lunch break segments Monday through Thursday. And Academy starts Thursday, guys. So join That's us. Right. That's yeah. right. How many spots are left? Just a couple. So if you, you want to join us, there's only a handful of spots left. Don't hesitate. It's going to be amazing. You're going to wish you would be here. Now, we're not going to tease you guys on Facebook and show you that stuff on camera. You might have to join us on Instagram and watch some of our stories. But I can guarantee, just like last year. That's right. When you see it, you're going to wish you were here. That's I'm right. Just gonna, I'm just going to leave it like that. That's it. I'm just going to leave it like that. All right, Chef John, as always, it was a blast cooking with you today. I appreciate all of you guys in the Rectech family for joining us. From my family to yours, from everybody here at the Rectech Grill's worldwide headquarters. Yes. We love you. Stay safe. And we will see you at, at the, the Rectech. Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Red tech lifestyle. They're, They're delicious. They're forget it. That skin the is really crisp. A little sweet, a little salty. Like. They are delicious.